Yeah, this is Miller Pie. I'm doing some great videos on Team Fortress 2. And I'm doing a quick video. It's pretty useful. It's called How to Avoid Spies. Uh, most people like this idea. And I'm just going to give you some quick tips on how to avoid it. Um, it is quite long, but yeah, here it is. Okay, you might, this might seem like a stupid idea, but it's pretty good. How do you know if this pyro is not a spy? Well, besides from he just walked out of spawn. You attack everyone near you, because if they are a spy, they'll take damage, but if they aren't, then, well, nothing happens. You either lose ammo, then actually die. See? Easy. You just have to be careful. Um, yeah, here it is. Now, you gotta make sure that you attack anyone. You never know who could be a spy or not a spy. Um, there's some other tips to help you on this, but just remember, attack anyone close to you. Because, well, it's extremely helpful. Um, yeah, can't really get much more on that. Is attacking anyone next to you. And yeah, if you need help, call out for help. And I died. Now this is another crazy one, but because they might be using the wait for it, the wait for it. Dead Ringer! The most annoying weapon in the game, besides from the gunslinger, because that makes many sentries. Um you want to watch how they die, if they die too easily, like you just touch them and they die, then you know, well, he's probably using dead finger. Or he's just on low health, which is, most of the time, none of it. Okay, so with the dead finger, how it works practically is you take damage, and then it drops to the skies. So always watch how they die. Um, if they die straight away, then it's obviously Dead Ringer, and follow them, be wary. Dead Ringer makes a loud noise, so watch out for that as well. And you can use Javadi, Mad Milk, Fire, Bleed, and all that sort of stuff to find them while they're cloaked, if they try to run away. An essential one, this is an essential one, to look behind you. If you don't look behind you, you never know what's going to happen. See, I just looked behind me. 95, actually, more than 95% of all spies try to go for the backstab, because that's what they do. So, look behind you. If you see someone coming at you, look suspicious, shoot them, attack them, like I said before. You never know who's a spy and who's not. You gotta, you gotta keep looking behind you, because you never know, you never know who's going to be the one who shoots you down. And when they shoot you down or stab you down, whatever... You're most probably gonna die. And that's not a happy thought. At all. Now, I don't mean just to stare at your teammates. I mean like, look at them and see if they're acting strangely. Because spies obviously have to disguise, but spies aren't foolproof. Look, use a flamethrower. That's an attack. Checking if he's a spy or not. Now, s spies can't attack when they disguise, so that's not one thing. The disguise can't attack, so if you're heavy and you try to attack, it won't work. I'm gonna check this guy, see? See? He was a spy. How do I know that? Because I hit him and he started taking damage and then he died right in front of me. How do I know he's not a dead ringer? Well, he was on fire, so if he did manage to cloak away, he would still be lit on fire, like a madman, running around like a lunatic. In a way, you gotta check on your teammates, if they're running fast, if they're is a scout running too slow, spy. Is a heavy too fast, spy. Try to play, avoid playing heavy, scout and medic. Now heavy is really, no, not scout, sniper. Heavy is slow, like really slow. Anyone can stab a heavy. Um, medics too. Medics usually are slow. Just watch this. Heavy get tunnel vision. They target something. You just go up behind them and go. There. Dead. 
do as I say with medics. Now with snipers, they are absolute ton of vision. You zoom in as a sniper, you can't see anything around you. Now there are some causes to that, as you know, there's some things that you can use to block that. Now medic, medic, your tunnel vision, trying to heal the same person, stab them, then stab the heavy, or whoever they're healing. Okay? It's easy. To avoid, stab the sniper, use the vase back, and heavy, use the holy lone heater. Look there, see? Easy. Now the reason you'll play the scout is not because it's good at killing a spy, it's because it's fast. They're really fast, you can practically outrun anything. A spy, unless you run up close to them, they're never going to get to you. That's why you play scouts. Scouts nice and fast. Spies can't get to you. However, the risk of playing scout is you've got weak health and you're most probably going to die in other sorts of ways. Um... I hate you. I hate you. And you're probably gonna die in every single way possible because you're low health. See? And then he taunts even though he didn't kill me at all. Now, use pl Pyro. Pyro is the best against spies. Why is this? Because you can. Well, three reasons. One, you have the flamethrower. Anything close to you, you just hold down the flame button and they get light on fire. Perfect. Spies have to use the knife to get anything. Or stab or anything. They use, don't use their gun because the gun is useless. It's a pistol. Come on, guys. Pistols are useless. Second of all, is the fire actually shows where the scout is. Well, the spy. Scouts, too, because scouts have to get in close and they're really annoying. But you, get in, you have to get in close in order to use the flame. You have to use the knife, like the spy knife. The third reason of all, the most important one, is that they're scared of pyros. Everyone's scared of a pyro. Because pyro just light everything on fire, scare the living daylights out of them, and you can just jump all over their dead body. Ooh, there's a spy man here. Spy. Wait, you spy? And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it, and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.